This is the 4-inch barreled Glock 19M, and being adopted and put into service by the FBI in 2016... What? The FBI? Jesus! Uh-oh, what's, what's this? Going on, dude? Oh, hi, Kaya. So you... we're talking about the FBI? You weren't supposed to be here yet. I'm here now. Uh-oh. What's going on? Well, this is an FBI gun, and you were in the FBI. Ah, back in the day, back in my day. All right, so, yes, that is correct. The Glock 19M, the legendary gun that actually set the standard for Glock 19 and 17, well, Gen 5s. Quick history for this one would be, the FBI had the uh, Glock 19, well, Glock 22, mm. 40 calibers before they gave the contract to Glock to come up with a 9x19. Yeah. And the reason for that was the FBI's BRF Ballistic Research Facility uh, did a lot of research and found out that, hey, 9mm made perfect sense uh, economically and many other areas, including the terminal ballistics. So they decided to give the contract to Glock. And the FBI had certain requirements for this gun. And some of those requirements would be because the Glock 19 Gen 4, 17 Gen 4 had the finger grooves. Yeah. And the Bureau was like, we don't want finger grooves. Yeah, I did notice this did not have the finger grooves. Exactly. So no finger grooves. And the Bureau wanted the ambidextrous slide stop, slide release. Oh, yeah. But uh, more robust if you see that there's a little bump on it. Because mm -hmm. regular Glocks will have just little, it's flat, Yeah, it's not as easy. So there's that. If you look at the muzzle, it's square on the Gen 4. Oh yeah. And that one is beveled. Better, easier for holstering, obviously. The coating on the slide on the, on the inside is different than the other Glocks. And the Bureau wanted that specifically for longevity. That makes sense. Here's that. And trigger, so trigger mechanism, it's got the same weight as the Gen 4. However, it's a different mechanism. So to make it more like smoother than the actual Gen 4 trigger. So there's also that. And on top of that, the flared magwell. If you look at the uh, Glock 19M or 17M, it'll have slightly a um, flared magwell compared to Gen 4. It is bowed out here. This is completely flat and this is bowed out just a little bit. And you can see that too on the inside, right on the edges here. Exactly. So there's that. On top of that, the uh, sights weren't a requirement. The Bureau didn't ask for it. Uh, from the Glock, but Bureau decided to go with the Ameri Ameriglow HDs and they're And pretty that awesome. orange specifically, right? That was a... Exactly. Okay. Exactly. From Ameriglow and Bureau picked that out. And when I first reported to Quantico, I was issued exactly the same gun, Glock 19M. But obviously after a couple of months of training and we did a lot of firearms training, it was just too small for my hand when it comes to reloads. Yeah. I'd, I'd just pinch it. And I would literally like, if, you, if I could show it to you, see that? The take this part off. of my hand, yep. And I would just get caught up on the magazine. And one day when I was shooting at the range, I start bleeding because I just do reloads real fast. It pinched my hand, just start bleeding. And the instructor was, my bay instructor, was like, no, no, what's going on? Like, did I get shot? What happened? I was bleeding. <laughs> I said, no, it just pinches my hand. It's no big deal. He's like, no, no, no. He just took the gun from me and got me the Glock 17M uh, at that time. And then the rest of my career, I carried that. But the legendary Glock 19M is right there here in front of you. It is pretty awesome and then literally set the standard for Gen 5 because when Gen 5 Glocks came out, guess what? They had a lot of the characteristics of the uh, the requirements that the FBI had for the Gen 4, which is this is the Gen 4 but looks like Gen 5. Yeah, oh yeah, it was all over the news. I mean, they got rid of uh, the finger grooves, they had chamfered you know, edges and, and when I saw this, I thought this was a Gen 5. When I first picked it up mm -hmm. and I was like, I should do a video on this. I thought it was a Gen 5, it's actually a Gen 4. It's exactly, if you look at it, there's no front serrations, now the Gen 5s do, Yeah. right? And the Bureau didn't have that requirement, but right now, as of right now, the Bureau is issuing Glock 19 and 17 M, the MOS version. Mm. The Bureau went away from the whole iron tights thing. So right now, all the guns are got the MOS versions, and they'll have uh, the front serrations as well, but still 19 and 17 M. That's it, love the gun, shot really well, and I, I did a Pretty decent job with it. Overall, one of my favorite guns, and it's got some uh, personal value for me. Yeah, That's and it. I did notice it had your, your cutouts too on the front and the back, so if you get that mag stuck, you can pry it out. Well, with that being said, that's uh, pretty much all the notes that I had on this. You touched on every point I had. Do you have any any closing statements? Nothing. It's a, it's a great Glock, love it. And overall, Glocks are awesome, but th there's a, a lot of value for this. This gun was made for the FBI with FBI requirements in mind. So, so it's not just any Glock. So if you see this gun, don't pass up the opportunity to grab it if you see it up there. Exactly, it's extremely rare. All right, and that's all I have for you guys today. God bless, it is time to end.